Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Season of the Chosen trailer, as you guys can see. If you guys haven't seen the trailer by yourselves, I highly recommend it, just so you guys can be hype or whatever. Uh, I'll put it right now. Darkness crowds the edges of this system. The hive serves it. You'll fall to one if not the other. I propose an alliance with my army and your light. The cabal will crush the hive. Bow. No. Empress Keitel has emerged as the new face of their empire and demanded I pledge loyalty to her. This tank is like a living thing. She breathes, she moves, and she will spit out your bones. in my gilded knife and see you both on the battlefield. There's no light here. So, now that you've watched the trailer, uh, now that you're hype as fuck, let me just take you back to reality. Destiny, specifically Bungie, really know how to nail trailers. Uh, if you look back at all of their other trailers they've done, they've all been fire. So just temper your expectations. I know it looked really cool, but I just urge you to remind yourself they, they do really good trailers. Like, that's how they are. And I'm not trying to be negative, but realistically... They've always done really good trailers, and then the season is just kind of like, oh, okay, this is this is dog shit. I just want to temper your expectations, not trying to be negative. So, let's get on with the trailer. Obviously, I'm going to do this live because I don't want to do extra editing in the background because I don't want to do it for Destiny 2 specifically. So, as you guys can see, we're handling the Cabal again, which the is darkness fine. The edges of this system. The hive serves it. You'll fall to one if not the other. I propose an alliance with my army and your light. The cabal will crush the hive. Bow. I laughed really hard. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Oh, Zavala, this shit made me giggle like a fucking... Oh, that is great. So, let's look at the actual armor. I am enjoying this armor. We're going to look at the Bungie website after the trailer, but mo specifically, I'm really liking this. The thing in the Titan's back, the Titan's the one in the middle, that either might be the new bow, or it just might be something ornamental, like the chest piece from the Europa map. Uh... Either way, I like this armor a lot. It's very ornamental. It looks really cool. And I'm not sure if the hunter has a a cloak or not. Um, you guys will see why I say that later. But I'm pretty sure they don't have a cloak. But unless we can toggle that on and off. You'll see why I say that later. So I'm actually really liking this. I mean, she has a cloak right there. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll check it out later. This tank. So, 
we get new strikes, quote unquote new. I think this is the only new one we actually get. And then we get the new exotic bow. And it looks cool. It looks really cool. It's my my only question is why is this warlock wearing Okay, what's My only question is, why is this warlock wearing the Aeon Swifts? Like, why are you doing this? Who? No one wears these. Stop it. But I had to switch from from the internet to this because I don't. My internet was wigging out. But again, we get the what is it? Devil's Lair and Saber back. Which, granted, I know I know a lot of Destiny Two players have not played it. And they're most likely hyped for this. I obviously have played this because I'm a D1 vet. So specifically me, I'm not excited for this. Uh, don't get me wrong. Those are like some of my favorite strikes. And I will definitely be excited to run those when I'm doing strikes. I, I think the disparity between D1 strikes and D2 strikes will show just how bad D2 strikes are compared to D1 strikes. I think D1 strikes really hit home when it comes to like just being fun. And D2 strikes are not fun for me. Like I don't I can't think of any memorable strike that really hits home to me as much as these strikes. Not only that, they missed they missed a chance since we're handling the cabal again. They should have brought back Oh, we don't have Mars. Never mind. Yeah. That would have been really cool. Anyway, let's go, let's go on. So, we have a new activity on Europa, which is cool, I guess. I don't I don't know. Uh, let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, whatever. We have a new activity. The cool thing is this looks like sins of the past, does it not? Like it it looks like it even reloads. Like if you guys remember the reload animation, you actually took the whole rocket silo out so you can put another one in. Looks like it a lot. Uh, you guys will see why it looks like that. I wouldn't even be surprised if that was the SMG from Leviathan. We also look at possibly possibly a I want to say 140 just because the like a 180 has a specific shot like recoil direction that I'm su super used to and it looks like it's a new hand cannon for from Charles of Osiris we actually do see the Charles of Osiris the new armor but if I can find it while I'm editing it I'll put it up right now it looks really fucking cool uh, at least for the hunters if I remember correctly uh if this is a 140, I'm I'm with it. It looks like a 180. Like I've seen this weapon before, and that weapon was a 180. So I'm hoping it's a 140. But if it's a 180, then then Bungie's just like really not listening to people, and they're just like, yeah, fuck you guys. We like 180s. Um, and then we see Shadow Price, obviously, which looks fire. But we also see right here that's a pulse rifle that's that has to be a trials pulse rifle and it has a d2 d1 uh rifle or a d1 uh rifle model there we go so it may be a returning d1 uh pulse rifle which take that what you will i'm not a big trials fan so trials fans let me know what you guys think and then Season of Chosen is here. We, bunch of, we get to see a bunch of shit here. So we get, to, ooh, we get to see Shadow Price's other skin, I guess? Or just with a new shader. We need you. And then the pulse, it has to be a pulse rifle. Like it has to be. Because I've seen this model in Destiny 1 and it was a pulse rifle. God. And something, re that's really cool. But we also get to see the sword that the Warlock has. I don't know if you guys saw that. That's a new skin as well. I'm guessing either they bring that weapon type into this new mode or this new whatever. And we get a new one or we get a skin for the old one. Either way, I'm about it. It looks really cool. 
So, yeah, this is really cool. Really fucking cool. I'll sharpen my gilded knife. And then we get to see. Is that Zavala's ghost? It looks so fucking rinky dink. But we also get to see Crow, and Crow looks actually really fucking cool. He's also wearing a mask from what I can see, obviously, because if he's in the tower, he has to cover his face because people will fucking want to kill him. But yeah, it looks really cool. I'm excited. And then see a bunch of shit. Uh, all the... Actually, I think that was the Trials Armor. Yeah, I think that's the Trials Armor. It looks cool. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. It looks so cool. But ask me... You think I got all the armor from Trials of Osiris? No. No, I didn't. You know why? Because we didn't have Trials for like three to four weeks this week. Which means I missed out on pretty much arms and the chest piece I missed by myself. Because I was like, I don't want to run Trials this week. So, yeah. Unfortunate for me. Yeah, we get to see a bunch of stuff like Palindrome was there for a shot. And then there's no light here, whatever the fuck that means. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about in the comments below about the trailer. I think it was really cool. Although, in my heart, I know that some people are saying, Oh, this is Menagerie, this is that. Honestly, this might just be the part of, a part of the new strike. Because we are getting a new strike in this. We're getting three strikes, thankfully. So that's going to help alleviate a lot of the pressure. But... Let's look at the actual website for Budgie because they always do this once they release a trailer. So, so the new Empress with the pyramids and Zebra Wraths destabilizing the system. Empress Cadel, I don't know, I don't know, leader of the Cabal and daughter of Callus, seeks an alliance, but when she demands more than Zavala can offer, negotiations collapse, and Guardians must become the tip of the spear that strikes at her growing war council. Welcome to the helm, design. As the ultimate vanguard staging what staging ground, the spaceport provides the resources Guardians needs to face the most powerful of incursions. Here, the war table has been set. Me, choir the hammer, proven. Huh. So I'm guessing this is a new area. Uh, because we this is in the roadmap. And then battlegrounds. So this is like the part that I'm just kind of like, okay, what do we do here? Is uh, let's just see. The fallout from the failed treaty has resulted in Cabal forces taking up arms on multiple destinations prepared to defend the glory of the Empire in this three-player match-made activity. Oh, thank fucking God it's match-made. Okay. Guardians will engage in ritual combat against Cadel's uh, chosen warriors. So, my question is... That's at three, right? That looks... First of all, that armor looks cool. Like, I want some of that shit for my hunter. Like, what happened to wearing my enemy's, like, heads as an ass? Like, what? What was I Wearing my enemy's ass as a hat. There we go. I want that. That looks cool. Uh, I'm guessing... So, I know one's in Europa. One is in Cosmodrome. This looks like, uh, Nessus. This... This might be Nessus. Or actually, now that I think about it, this might just be somewhere in Europa. But, whatever. It's at three, right? Yeah. No. Whatever. Vanguard Strikes. Okay, so Devil's Lair, like I said. Fallen Saber, like I said. Then Proven Grounds. The Champions of the Humanity may face the Champions of the Cabal to determine the fate of the last city. This is what I'm talking about. This just might be where we saw that... Uh, menagerie type entrance that's why i'm saying like it might just be from the strike hopefully it's not hopefully it's something really cool but like i said that's what i think it is and then champions arm or a champions armory which is this is look at this this looks like weapons from <laughs> from <laughs> i'm sorry if i'm laughing it's just i expected this this looks like weapon reskin weapons from the Leviathan. And I know this because I have most of these weapons. Obviously, I can't. Over 25 weapons added to the loot pool. When you say 25 weapons, is it more like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the weapons that I can see right now? Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. 5 weapons plus like maybe 20 weapons that are reskins and 
just reissued? That's my question. And then we have an exotic quest that's redacted, but it has the Tex Mechanica symbol, so... I don't know what it could be, honestly. We already have the, the weapons from Destiny 1, unless I'm missing one. And then Tiku's Divin Divination. This ancient recurve bow charges multiple solar arrows that can strike several targets at once. We already saw that in gameplay. Umbral Ingrams, we already knew that was coming. Seasonal Artifact, which is this. And then the armor itself, which looks fucking cool. <clears throat> what I'm wondering is... Is this like an ornamental armor to like basically showcase that we're the, uh, what's it called? The champions of humanity. I don't, I don't know. Like, how does this armor, sh like, how is this armor affected by this season? Like, why, like, what's the big thing? And I'm guessing that's the big thing is the fact that it is seasonal armor that is to, supposed to showcase that we are indeed the champions of humanity. Although I will say, Titans, I don't like that big thing on your back. I don't know what the fuck. Like, why is that thing there? What is it? Like, I don't know what it is. It looks bad. And this is the armor without anything. I think that looks... I think this looks cool. Oh, shit. This looks really cool. I like it a lot. Ooh, the arms look good for the hunters. Oh, shit. The chest looks bad for the tide or hunter or lux. And then Titans, I like I like most of it. Uh, it's definitely really bland though. Oh, fucking hell. And then we have the season pass, which holds pretty cool stuff like usual, I guess. Get a new shader. This, like this is not new. Like this pretty much looks normal to me. The introduction of uh, Umbral Engrams is funny to me because I just was expecting it. And then we get. A, okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, we get a linear fusion rifle. I I apologize if you guys hear my disappointment, but linear fusions are just, they're bad. Like, they're dog shit, I'm sorry. So, getting another one is just kind of like, cool, I wanted one. And we get a sidearm. Do we not get a side? We get a sidearm in that. What? What? Wait a minute. If you guys, I, I'm confused because usually in the season pass we get two weapons that are not in the loot pool for, well, not like originally. Well, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Two exotics, that's not new either. So this is what, like, this is the cloak for the hunters, which is why, actually, is it the cloak for the hunters? This looks like Hunter stuff, yeah. Where's the chest piece? Yeah, this is the yeah. So like, that's what I'm. That's what I say that I don't think the hunters have a cloak because it doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's see what season pass holders get. Battleground match made new weapons, uh, three new strikes, helm, new exotic cosmetics, and all all. Uh, looks like we get a lot of stuff. Hopefully, I don't know. <clears throat> One week early access to Proven Ground Strike. Oh, gee. That's cool, I guess. And then we have the roadmap, which... I don't... I don't know how I feel about, to be quite honest. <laughs> so we get the Behemoth and Hailstone Battlegrounds. <clears throat> we get the Devil's Lair and Fallen, Str Fallen Saber Strikes open... And the helm comes online as well. Stasis Aspect Quest begins on February 9th. Trials begins on February 12th. Hopefully, and it doesn't get delayed. Uh, the Cleansing Battleground, whatever that means. And then Oracle Battleground and Iron Banner. Oracle Battleground is the one I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Also, are we getting new Iron Banner armor? Like, that's, that's the one I want to know, like, specifically. And then Proving Ground Strike opens for Season Pass Holders and Iron Banner. Oh, it's the same thing. Whoa, we're getting three things in uh, February 23rd. <clears throat> and then March 30th, Proving Ground Strike enters playlist for all players. Okay, nothing next week for sure. Or that week. Uh, Iron Banner again. And then Guardian Games for, for this, which is like, oh, okay, whatever, dog. 
Especially since this is not even like a community thing. It's more just like, hey, give us money so you can get this cool armor. Oh, wait, that's every event. My bad. My bad. Sorry. So this is the armor for the hunters. This is why I say I don't think we have a, sh uh, a cloak. Because this bitch doesn't have a cloak. So I'm about that. That looks fucking cool. I really hope it's like that. Most likely we'll be able to interchange between the, the season pass armor which has a cloak and then the the season pass ornament that doesn't have one so that's cool overall that's pretty much it guys uh i'm excited but at the same time i know what to expect i'm not expecting anything great not because i'm trying to be a negative asshole more just so i can at least be excited for something because when it comes out and i'm like wow this isn't complete dog shit i'm gonna be excited to play the game because as you guys may or may not know i'm not playing destiny currently I know you guys see Destiny on right now, but I promise you, after I get the... Actually, let's go to it. Yeah, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So, once I buy this and this, and then maybe go to my Warlock and Titan, I'm dipping. Because there's nothing to do. There really is not nothing to do. Like, I've already completed pretty much everything I wanted. And... This game really just doesn't have anything going on for it right now. Oh, that looked fire, though. That I'm liking that. That looks cool. Oh, my God. I love that. Okay. That's cool. Let's change the skin for this because I did not like last week's. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much why I'm just playing Destiny 2 right now. I'll probably play a little bit here and there. But when I tell you guys that this... This expansion and this season has been so, so utterly dry. I mean it. Don't get me wrong. The uh, the raid race was awesome. I loved every second of it. But that's really it. That's really it. <clears throat> Other than that, I was pretty much disappointed that Bungie only put all of their manpower into just the raid. And don't get me wrong, the raid was cool, but... You should probably put all your resources behind making the whole game great. I mean, just a thought. So yeah, let me know what you guys what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. It is really wild that you guys support me this much. And other than that, oh that looks so cool. And other than that, I will see you guys later.